Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Slipper G Made, and this is loot from 10 Hours of the Harbour Bridge in Act 8. Why the Harbour Bridge in Act 8? Well, I don't really have any reason, really. I did it because I hadn't done anything painful in a while, and really I was kind of hunting for the Angler's Plate Ring because I'd heard drops in zones before the maps. So I put on a Slither Pinch and some boots, and then I wasted 20x on gearing out this character to just have only unique items. But I had a Biscos that gave me 148% increased rarity drops from Magic Monsters, and a uh, Ventus that gave me 9% quantity and 9% rarity, and then 123 rarity total up in all the other items and stuff. Really, I was just stacking as much rarity as I could possibly think of to try and get more unique items dropping. I had also the Biscos was like 100% quant for normal monsters, which probably explains why I got a lot more items and divination cards than I would have expected to have gotten. Anyway, let's get straight to the loot. Hey! I'm in Highgate instead of my high doubt because, hey look, this is all the money. Well, most of the money, one sec. They got their jewelers and these things here. So yeah, we got uh, 37 chaos and 40, 60, 73 chance orbs and some of them, which is good because I used a lot of them to try and make one of these, but then I didn't end up making one of these and then said I ended up buying one of these and I also bought this because I need energy shield for this because I run these. And then, I don't know, it makes sense. The build's actually really good. It works really well if you're just going to completely stack, like, MF or RF or something. And hey, look, I'm finally using that thing. But I'll probably, like, fix this build in the sense of I will not use all uniques and maybe I'll get rid of these. And, you know, I could actually map with this thing at some point. And I haven't done Kitava yet because I didn't want to get any more um, resistances. But, yeah, I'll probably finish up Katava with this thing and then, you know, spec into like actual proper gear and I could probably map with this thing and then once we're probably mapping we could probably do these at some point. Anyway, let's see, I also got these, I didn't really have to, I didn't have enough inventory space. Oh, the only reason I'm in Highgate is to hand in these, I got four sets of Jack in the Box, a shit ton of sex this map, map one and, you know, some level 19 skill gems. Here we goes, here we Joseph, oh yeah, I should mention I streamed all of this in one sitting, which was definitely not the right choice. I mean, it was definitely a great idea and not painful at all for the human psyche. I mean, yeah, it was great. I got hosted by like five separate people, most of them with one view, one of them with 50 viewers, another one with 19,042, thanks to that guy with blue hair, by the way. You'd think he's like, he's really embracing. Wait a second, did I, have I only just gotten the joke? Wait, is he like really just embracing the harbinger theme? Wait, 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 I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, uh, there we go these I guess we'll hand in you know all of these ones and all of these ones I mean you do, do you care about what maps are gonna show up really you just want the unique items don't you let's do it get some essences as well okay let's go hand in this one hey Tasuni how's it going I'm gonna hand in these ones ice nova these could these all be vowels frenzy flame totem Blade Vortex. Could I get like a level 19 in power? That would be nice. One of them. What is that? Double Strike. I was scratching my nose. And a Power Siphon. And some maps. Yeah, these are exactly what I expected, to be honest. Tier 5 maps. Hmm. Who to thunk it? Really? Just. It's okay to skip this part. Just press like uh, L to skip forward 10 seconds. I definitely wasn't concentrating to try and count 10 seconds out just then. Hey, welcome, welcome to the future. It's 10 seconds later. Okay, shit, damn it. Come on. Yep, there we go. Yeah, moving up. Yep, everything got really quiet as I was counting. But hey, if I did, if I wasn't wearing this, uh, godforsaken ugly piece of shit helmet, look how cool I look. It's like red and I got a bug on me and this one's also red and that one's red. And if I wasn't, didn't have like a glowy bow, everything would look pretty cool. Anyway, let's go continuing onwards. Saw someone at the corner of my eye for a second then. Don't want to wait a second. Okay, whatever. I'll just I'll just go with it. Probably had a different divination set in there. Probably from opening like strong boxes or something like that. Let's hand these in. Come on, headhunter. You know you'd love it if it happened, and I would too. Okay, boom. Okay, and a boom. The fuck is that? Okay, and a boom. Go up, boom. Okay, and a boom. Okay. So these are garbage I know for sure. This is most probably garbage, and I've never seen these before, which makes them awesome in my books. Look how fucking cool they look. Anyway, uh, moving downwards. We're going to ID some shit tier uniques, and then we're going to end the video, and I'm sure you all love this, right? Wait, this has been really short. Oh no, I haven't dragged this out for like 10 minutes. Oh, something is terribly wrong with me. I must be fatally ill or something. Do I have enough shit to ID all this? Probably. 
Ah, uh, let's do this. This is a shiver sting. This is a void home. This is a infractum. This is a roth reach. This is a shiver sting. This is a Chernobog pillar. This is an Innsbury edge. This is a skirmish. This is a cloak of flame. This is a bitter dream. This is a limb split. This is a Chevron's pace. This is a Matuna Patuna. This is a Hana home. This is a Ezomite peak. This is a worm sign. This is a Himra's resolve. And this is a Skullhead Skullhead. And this is a Meganord's vise. And this is a Dusk Toe. And this is a Bloodthorn. And this is a Reverberation Rod. And this is a camp sign and this is an unending hunger and this is a hunger and this is a obliteration and this is a violent dead and this is a wards warped timepiece and this is a sunblast and this is an anvil and this is a rolling flames and this is a mirror arrow blink arrow build just google that you'll find it. i think it was build of the week at some point i definitely bastardized it with all the unique items just in case anyone's wondering and i'm spamming the shit out of just generic shit tier life flasks anything else i should do i got a portal gem i got a val reeve that dropped with quantity Quality, quality I mean. These are cool looking. There's these, I got one of these ones. And I guess I'll ID these as well and then we'll just end it, right? And then I'll like pretend to level this character up. Or maybe I'll think about it. I don't know if I should make, I mean it's it's so overpowered. I really want to make this an actual build but I kind of want to keep the shit tier uniques as well. I mean I could just have them in a tab or something, right? Get that, get this, get that, get that, get that, get that. Come on life. That, get that, get this, this. This, come on, something with life on it. Nope, that one. Yeah, shit. Come on. You no, know, that's got four things. That one. This one. Whoops. Whoops. This one. 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 Did fuck shit. Oh, it's been useless. We got nothing good except these awesome, cool-looking blue gloves that are most likely worthless. Hey, thanks guys for watching, and you know. I'm just gonna keep making videos. I don't really know if you have to know this, but I'm gonna just I'm just gonna keep trying and if anything I should try to get this fucking blue flame effect because that person looks fu- oh, it's a, that's a tiger. Never mind. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye